you're listening to Reversal Radio. No, 101.10 FM. Two calming voices on the raging wavelengths. We're glad you could join us today. Whether you're having a hard day or the day's hardly started, let's start this thing off with a track from Tyler. They say that friendship is a state of mutual trust and support between allied nations. When I say they say, what I mean to say is that's what Google says. But Google can't take into consideration the complexities of trust and support. I guess what I'm saying is, I've never been the Google definition of a friend. I mean, we've all had moments where we do something that we end up regretting, or we just don't talk about, or even we just try and forget our mistakes altogether. But let's face it, if you destroy a connection with someone you undoubtedly cared for, are you really just going to move on and ignore it? I know I can't, and I need that to change, because I messed up the only friendship I ever cared about. I mean, yeah, look, I've started a business, although... It's the type of business I keep people away from. Don't get too close to anyone, and then I'm doing fine. Anyway, I guess I should introduce you to the story, but where to begin? I think I've got it. Strap in. Once upon a time, there were two friends, Tommy and Fred. I'm Tommy, Fred was my friend. Now we go way back, not just to year seven, but to the point where we were rolling around on the floor together. What can I say? We were two babies gazing into the abyss and thinking about our next meal. In order for you to really understand the friendship we had, let me talk to you about when it gets interesting. Year 9. We were constantly getting into trouble. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I was constantly getting Fred into trouble. You could say I'm a bit naughty. I have an understanding of Cockney rhyme, so being the gentleman I am, I thought Fred a couple of words. But I try not to speak like that anymore. Because I'm maturing. I'm an entrepreneur. Anyway, look, enough about me. Back to Fred. I taught him the basics. He was able to speak my language. Fred and I had a blast. Playing pranks on classmates, going around, breaking random objects, anything we could find. And, oh, I've been kicked out of school. One little letter to your mum and suddenly you feel like a rejection of society. That is it. I got Fred into trouble and as a result, I was kicked out of school and we drifted apart. But maybe what we had, our friendship, that connection, maybe we could have it back. You tell me how we went from this to this. If I say I'm sorry, can we move on? Can we still be friends? Will you forgive me? Forgive me, please. But look, you want to know what I did back in year nine, don't you? All will become clear. This is what the film is about. Me trying to reclaim my lost friend, Fred. Everything will be explained. Don't worry. So three years later, we're both 17. Enough talking, let the film begin. Hello? Is this Fred? Yes, he's with. You know who it is. Is that Tommy? Is that Tommy Cranston? It bloody well is! Good to talk to you, man. How you doing, mate? I'm better now. Didn't know you have a number. Where'd you get it from? Oh, friend of a friend exchange. Um, I've matured since you last saw me. Crazy. It's been, what, three years? Must be, must be. Where's the accent gone? Teach me, give me your knowledge, guide me to being fluent in your language. I, Tommy Cranston, will guide you to being an expert. It won't be easy. You may cry. Can you handle this? I can. Whatever it takes. I, uh, I left it behind. Where have you been then? This and that, moving about, creating a name for myself. I'm, a, uh, I'm an entrepreneur now. What's the risk you taking? Oh, it's a small business, really. Giving everyone a service they really deserve. Sounds intense. Well, our customers seem very satisfied. 
Uh, you still set one maths? It's not set anymore. But I always was the brighter bulb. <laughs> yeah, you've always been a lemon tart. Tell me still with the rhyme. I can't call you a tart. But, really, you, the brighter bulb, look, let's not jump to conclusions. You don't know what I'm capable of. Mate, your thick is too short planks. I'm thinking about those excuses you used to make. Look, let's not think about that. Maybe I ain't so dumb no more. Look, my day will come. Don't fret. Fretting? I am not. I, uh... I meant to say... Look, you're the only friend I had that stuck around. Day ones. Day zeros. But truthfully, I want my cheesy quaver. A favour. Oh, of course. I remember this part of the conversation. Look, you, you owe me, don't you? I don't think so. You don't even know what I'm asking you. Is this why you called? You make me sound, Alan. Mad. Come on. I've been teaching you this for years. How do you not remember? Look, you gotta do what you gotta do, alright? I get that. But we're not alike. We're not similar. What do you want from me? You've changed your tune. I thought we were me. I just fell out of touch, I guess. Let me tell you what I need, then. I have a delivery I need you to make. What? Cakes? But come on, give me something here. What I'm saying is, it will be beneficial to both parties. Why? What? Christ! You've asked so many questions! And why can't you do it? Just do the delivery. All will become clear. I'm asking why specifically did you try me? Alright, if you insist on knowing. I do. I want to know. Well, a couple of weeks ago, this geezer and his lot were busy asking questions. They might be following me. Look, if you do this, or the skies, they're clearer than... They're clearer than crystal. What does it involve? Are you doing it or not? It just sounds dangerous. I just thought we were mates. No, we are. We de definitely. I just don't want to brush something when I don't know what I'm doing. Just make the call. Yes? Or no. Then tell me, what does it involve? Look, that's not for you to know. You're asking me to do something when I don't even know what it is. I'm asking one small thing, and you're such a skeptic. Just give me a minute to think. I haven't got all day. No. Mad. I just told you, I'm fearing for my life. And you won't do your friend one small favour. I don't know. Just give me a minute to think. Nothing's changed with you. You're not worth my time, are you? Are you? No. Look, I, I think it would kill it. I think it would kill the uh, appeal. Because the appeal is you're going against the government. If I want him to do it, he deserves to get paid. One thousand should do it. One thousand? One thousand. A thousand? Yes. In cash? No, Monopoly money. For you, one thousand. It's better not be like last time. <laughs> what happened last time? This. You act all innocent and then you do me over. This isn't year nine anymore. Like you said yourself, I've matured. Alright, but don't screw me. Because you keep your mouth shut, then I take the blame. Look, I spoke up last time though. Don't get it twisted, Doris. Yeah, but the, the damage was done. No more. No less. If done correctly, for you, 1,000. Okay. Okay, you have me. I'll do it. For a thousand. What's the plan then? The plan. You leave the house and you head to Crystal Palace Park and pick up the bag. The park? It can't change. My guys have already planned. Trust. When I say we've figured it out, I mean it. So you leave the house and you head to Crystal Palace Park and pick up the bag which is near the hut. What if someone takes it? That's not on me. That's why we put it in a public place. No one's going to come for you when you grab it, and no one's going to be there waiting for you. 
You understand? Not really, no. Jesus. Okay, look, listen this time. You leave the house and you go to the bit by the... By the swimming pool. Exactly. So you pick up the bag, go out the other exit, but on a oak. Then put the bag in the tunnel by the cemetery. Then pick up the envelope. And when the envelope isn't there, I just, you know, do what? Look, it definitely will be there. What tree is it? Um, by the bottom right of the cemetery. Where's that? Use a map. You understand? I think so. Look, it's so simple, yet you make it difficult. Just checking the facts, I don't want to rush. No, sure, I understand. I'm being a bit harsh, aren't I? Sounding a bit Rodney. That's my boy. Am I rhyming rubbing off on you? When do you need me? Now. Let's slow down the tempo a bit. The seasons are changing, and we're seeing the summer out. The leaves are getting redder, and the trees are changing their faces. Let's bring on them changes. Now playing. Fun cat. Them changes. To the swimming pool. Yeah. The one with the frosted glass. Yeah, I got it. Once you have the bag, complete the list. Call me if you get lost. Don't worry, I'll call you when I'm done. Hey. I don't mind change. I don't like hate. See when the sound system play. Made the system shake, and the girl wanna swing my way. Play street with the street that I played, but I'm in the street and we hear all saints. Imagine all saints when you wait, ayy. That's a good taste, mm, that's a good space. Ayy, that's a mad place, like that's a real wave. Mm, I miss it so deeply, well put that shit on my grave. Ayy, bop and sway, ten toes for the rave and the rain. Ayy, I love carnival waves. We don't feel the same, that's cool, don't get in my way. In fact, don't migrate. Yeah, we like champagne, but we like red stripe and we like red You don't feel the same, that's cool, don't get in my way Up back and play, not in hell, why no film Teddy boys and my granddad on side, but he backed it cause his bones like still mm. So long on an island, they were really out there in the field When the vibe was real, that's why I get on my feels When I know that I can't fucking live here still You don't feel the same, that's cool, don't get in my way It's done Oh, smashing don't forget to take the back streets and stick to the shadows. Apples and pears. I know this one. Stairs. Jesus. This is raw talent. You're a natural. You're the Barnaby. Calling me the judge. <laughs> Learning fast. What can I say? You're a good mentor. Nah, I'm glad you're cool. It's good to talk to you again. I'm, I'm very happy you did this for me too. Should I have a look? Nah. Save the excitement for when you get home. Don't want you screaming down the mic when you find out what's inside. But, look, just tell me. What are you going to spend the money on? A thousand pounds. A lot of things. You know that place in Dulwich? The restaurant? I'm uh, not so educated with that area. It's a French place. Lay Finn. I take my mum there. Have a nice meal. That's where I'd go. And I'd buy you a packet of bourbons, two Lucasades, and a pack of salt and vinegar space invaders. You remember my school lunch order? Don't have to. A friend like you? It's the least I could do. Just for me. Tell you what, I'm gonna go save. I'll take a trip to Spain, some place by the sea. I'll bring the boys, Ronnie and Reg. Still call them that? Yeah. But they're missing me. How's it feel to hold a grand? Feels nice. Feels light. Because you're a bloody gym lad. Nothing is too heavy for you. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm too excited. I'm having a peek. Just a small one. Fred, you're not safe yet, okay? Don't look in there yet. Oh shit. Tommy, they've done you over. I'm going back. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. The fuckery. I knew you'd do this. Knew what? Say one thing, do the other. Lie to me. What did I do? You said a thousand. What can I say? You figured out my plan. Take me away, officer. Look, smashing work day. I couldn't have done a more stellar job myself. Piss off! Fuck. Look, don't flatten yourself. You want me to explain why I did this? Or do you already know? Because you're a freak who thinks he runs the world because he's a I don't think it suits you being this freak. I might say something you end up regretting. Nothing else? Look, this has got me feeling kind of awkward. I can't. Am I? Fuck you. If this is your idea of some um, justice, then you're wrong. It's just your petty attempt to try to get back at me. The clues were there. You did this to yourself. I never forced you to do this job. I called you up for the first time in three years, hardly asking my name or how I'm doing. And I waved a grand in your face and that's all the convincing you needed. Money. And you're going to this length to tell me I'm a prick. Yeah, I'm a prick for that. I admit it. But that's it. That's all this needs to be. I'm a selfish bastard. I get it. I've learned my lesson. Let's just leave it there. Fred, you haven't got any common sense, do you? You're going to suffer. I'm going to ruin you. Look, an eye for an eye never hurt anyone. Then you really are blind. I'm sorry. Really, I am. Like you always said, it's just business. Don't forget that. Oh well. Cheers anyway then. Tommy, please pick up. Come on, we can sort this out. I know it. We, we can finish this. Normally, just I'm done. Call them off. Tommy, please pick up. Come on, please pick up. Finish. Tommy, please pick up. Come on, pick up. Sorry, right? Sorry. Call them off. I'm done. Tommy, please pick up. Come on, pick up, please. Please, I'm sorry. Just tell them to stop. What you run from, you end up chasing. Fred is running from the truth, but he'll catch up with it. Or maybe it will catch up with him. Sometimes you gotta close the door to open a window. I saw a photo, you look joyous. My eyes are green, I eat my veggies. I need to get her out the picture. She's really fucking up my friend. My brother said I'm on the spectrum Don't call me selfish, I hate sharing This 60-40 is working I want a hundred of your time 
your mind. on the raging wavelengths. Before we go, we have one question for you. Are we still friends? Now that the day's winding down, if it hasn't been the smoothest of landings, let's get you back in the cockpit. This song's for you. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Good night, Reversal Radio. Revenge. They say it's a dish best served cold. They say revenge is the action of hurting or harming someone in return for an injury or wrong suffered at their hands. He's a liar. He didn't just smash a window, he destroyed a friendship that was irreplaceable and stabbed me in the back. He got what he deserved. I mean, I served that dish of retribution so cold it, it it doesn't feel like the happy ending I pictured. The thought of harming Fred or making him hurt, it feels like justice, it feels good, but again, I am not a Google definition yet. The law has been laid, but along with that, a small piece of me feels bad, Fred, you know? We weren't just friends, we were best of friends. Thick as thieves, companions, allies, buddies, chums, pals, mates, bros. Whatever word you want to use, slang or a definition straight out of Oxford, whatever word you have in mind, that's what we were. Last one for today, and then we're done. Bees and honey. Give me money. And now we are the opposite. We are enemies till the end and to answer my question can we be friends no goodbye Fred are we still friends can we be friends are we still friends can we be and we be friends are we still friends
Don't say goodbye. Smell you later. Nah, I can't. I don't wanna end the season on a bad episode, nigga. Now I'm sending all things and you don't know how you fall. Your power and dreams, so you cannot go through all. You caught in this matrix, turn away. Coming down the house. We're finished. Okay. <laughs>